hello guys welcome back to the channel um, let's get started with a new tutorial okay so I've got this picture here and I'm going to add a couple of adjustment uh, layer adjustment here so let's start off with the color lookup because I want to make this dark first thing we'll do we find night from day we're going to add this and then I'm going to add levels adjustment layer there we go bring in the dark values like this yeah I'm quite happy with this yeah like that but what I want to do is darken the corners as well so what I'm going to do I'm going to add another uh, layer adjustment which is hue saturation and just bring in the lightness somewhere like this quite dark but we're going to press command I on the mask and we're going to hide uh, the whole darkening and reveal only on the areas where we want to so I'm just gonna paint in this here this side uh, maybe that's too much let me just go down a little bit like that yeah inside here this area here yeah something around this is fine okay so I'm ready with this and I'm ready to add the x-ray foot image which is uh, I found it on the internet so I'm just going to take this and going to add it in to my picture I'm going to change everything to smart object and start uh, adjusting the size so let's see let's see okay so it'll take a tiny bit of work but uh, going to change everything from normal to screen so we can see what is happening all right and I am also going to add a tiny bit of adjustments here so I'm just going to bring these up right like that it's fine okay let me just stretch here and there there we go now we go something like this yeah I think this could work well okay yeah about here there we go perfect all right now that we have this I'm going to add a new layer and this is going to be a glow and using my color here three uh, double three five b a two and with the brush tool I'll just uh, place some uh, brush strokes here and I'm going to change the layer style so we go to the blend mode and change it to color dodge and also going to remove this checkbox here uh, transparency shapes layer there we go and tiny bit playing with the opacity but not a lot so I'm just pretty much leaving it like that I'll add another one which is going to be an like outer glow and this is let me just use this other darker navy which is uh, 092 beat 5f and um, before I paint anything in I know already that I want to go with linear dodge uh, layer adjustment so I'm just uh, going to add to areas where I want uh, glow to be emphasized maybe here maybe here and then maybe on the shoes in the in the background here yeah just a couple of areas maybe the floor like this here yeah I think that's nice and like this as well here yeah, there we go okay um, I think we're ready with this what we want to do is add a little bit of texture and normally I go to um, texturelabs.org and you can find all different categories here uh, lens, lens effect has got really cool um, lens effect kind of uh, textures so I did like this one a lens FX, FX uh, 161 so I open it copy image go back to Photoshop and just paste it in change it into a smart object and the blend mode can also be changed to screen once you have that you I did squashed it here and there just to achieve uh, a really cool look like that 
and I'm really happy with this. Another effect I really like is if you go into the, I think it's paper, yeah, paper. And uh, yeah, this archive photocopy paper, that is really cool. So I'll just go into copy this as well, paste it into the design. And uh, before I do anything, I always just uh, convert it to smart object. And then what I want is basically getting rid of these edges here. I don't really want them. All I want is just this texture here. And then we can change it into screen. And if it's too much, you can always open the layer style and just bring in the dogs, you know, like that. And then separate it with holding down the option key just to smoothen it out. There we go. Yeah, I think this is really nice. And once you have everything ready, you can press Command A, select everything, Command Shift C, Command Shift V, just to create a copy of the whole design, a merged copy of the design, convert it to smart object, and we can go into the filters, to the camera row filter. And all I really want, I don't really want to touch too much, but the effect panel, um, I really like the grain. So, so I'm just gonna bring in some green. I'm not sure how much you guys are going to see from this, but I think it's really, really cool. I go in with like 50, a bit of a texture can can be added here. There we go. I'll bring up the dehaze, clarity as well. There we go. Yeah, I think this is nice, I like this. Okay, so as you can see, this is the before and this is the after and very short tutorial, very easy effect to achieve and I hope you had fun. Let me know if you like this type of videos and uh, see you on the next one. Thank you.